Good day, lookers. Long time no look. And what are we doing over here? Good day, good day. Exciting times. Coochin Creek. Where we going? Coochin Creek. Coochin Creek. Creek. It's been a couple of months since we've had a trip, so just uh, packing the eskies and putting all the. I'm going to put all the food in Shane's fridge. Um, get ready to go. It's not. It's not too far up the road from Shane's place, so um, so it'll be a pretty quick drive and a and a quick setup. Um, I think it's going to be a really cool episode. I went and checked the site out uh, a, a couple of weeks ago um, to see where the where the actual parking sites were and the campsites were, and um, it's just a nice little sort of nice little niche corner of uh, of Coochie Creek there. Um, and it's got a boat ramp because someone bought a boat. We might need a king tide to get enough water to get yeah. out there. Have a look at the smile on his face. Someone's got a boat. Someone's <laughs> got a boat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna take that out and see if we can Still get it. drag it up there and uh, see if we can get in the water. Yeah, it's cool. I didn't actually realise like Coochin Creek there actually runs down to the Bribey Passage and then all the way up to Cloundra. Yep. So we'll get in, get on the water in the morning, high tides in the morning, and cruise up to Cloundra and muck around, maybe do some fishing. And, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. It's been it's been crazy. Work's been crazy for a couple of months. Um, we were planning to get out in the boat and do a couple of episodes. We, yeah, we've had two trips booked <sighs> that we ha yeah. had to cancel because of weather. So um, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. been a long time since trips. Yeah, so. weather turned all the Yeah, so we threw all the eggs in the boat basket, thinking that we could you know, maybe get across to Morton, Australia, or something like that, and um, and do a day episode or overnight episode and um, throw the swags out in the boat. But um, yeah, the weather yeah. turned on us. So. <laughs> And, and work was pretty months, full on as well, so. Months of rain and wind, um, yeah. yeah, so I haven't been able to get it out, but. We, we got some half decent weather, so we're gonna drag it up the creek and see if we can get in it, and, and away we go. Yeah, so super pumped, we haven't, yeah, as I said, we haven't been away in, in, in a couple of months, so it's gonna be a good little episode, nice little, nice little cruisy um, creek campsite, and, and away we go. Enough talking, more esky packing. Let's get this food in Fridge packing, fridge, eh? let's get on the road. YouTube channel just gone looking. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? Uh, load list. So figured out a little load list thing here, just in the on the iPhone, just in the uh, re uh, reminder section. Sorry, yep. yeah, just in the reminder section because we found that always forgetting stuff, just the little things and sometimes even the big things. So we sort of set up this load list, um, and it's got you know Shane set up, Tim set up media campsite kitchen and then you've got the little collapsible subtasks and it's just like a little checklist um and you can actually you can see the little modgy thing so there. this is what's been popping up on my phone saying uh and i need to do this and I need yeah to do yeah that. yeah because because <laughs> i put it in there and then you you, you assign the t that that task or that item to the people yeah. that can have we been show the initials on the side be shared in the group yeah so th you can see on the right there th and yeah. sh yeah, so as and as we go through, like now we've got um uh, where are we going? I've got yeah, my grog and my soft drink are done. Alright, so now that's all ticked off. And then if you go back out to your main menu, you got all the ones that are assigned to you sitting in there. So as we we thought as we keep going, you just share that list with whoever's going in the campsite, um, or on the trip, assign the task to everyone. And then as we go on more trips and we figure out stuff that we've forgotten or missing, we just add it to that load list and use that as a, as a base load list for all the, so all the episodes. So because you shared it with me, it actually comes up on my phone as well. Yeah. So it's all linked. So if I add something in there, it comes up on Tim's phone. Yeah. So no more, no more forgetting things like and having to buy things like camp ovens out in a condo when, you're, <laughs> when yeah. you're just about at the campsite and stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes over the next episode or two and then we'll, we'll check back in. 
now and three episodes from now or something and see how the load list has evolved but highly recommend Yes, hello. Because uh, I saw that I got that. Smooth operator. <laughs> Shame about a bait. Having a look at the uh, campsites and how we're going to set up. Um, looks like the one campsite that I bo booked, the larger one, was is big enough for both the cars and the boat. Um, and the other campsite that we booked probably won't need, which worked out well because we just spoke to a nice bloke and a and a lady that was camping in the campsite next to the other one we booked, and they've got a mate coming that had to book two kind of campsites down because we booked the one next to them. So we're just going to. Be good uh, campsite neighbours and and give um give them the campsite next to their mates um, and we'll take this big one down here and and uh, be a little bit conservative in the space that we use. Yeah, worked out well. Yeah. Are you a bunch? Bit of all right, mate. Yeah. All right. Take you for a quick walk just to show you sort of. What we're dealing with boat just fits in and we've got these sort of logged off areas got both the cars in so we're just going to set the gazebo up the back here and then that's our fly pit and we're away so we'll uh Vroom. we'll muck around doing a couple of things and then we'll do a time lapse of the of the campsite set up when we're ready to go and we'll get some beers in us and cook some dinner that's not <laughs> It's not that this is needed, it's more symbolic. <laughs> Did you see a bush, bush taggy? It's more symbolic that, that the weekend has begun or you yeah. know the, the time the relaxed time starts. Oh, we had a good run up here of the traffic. We've got a bit of daylight left to set up. Braxton's, uh, Braxton's sweeping filthy hands already. Sweeping the uh, the fire pit site. Got a oh to be some dinner, so I just got so gonna do some gourmet hot dogs tonight. Sausages, uh, diced bacon, Ooh. cheese nap. Yep. And then got a a um sort of herb infused um pork roast, rolled yep. pork roast for the camp oven tomorrow night. That's gonna be Sounds good. Yummy. Sweet. You never know, we might even catch some fish tomorrow. Maybe. Get it. So yeah, we'll set up a time lapse while we're setting up and away we go. You <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <Whee! laughs> <laughs> What's this you've got here? Uh, some type of a uh, gimbal. So uh, yeah, you, you charge it and you turn it on and you set you set whether you want it portrait or landscape and it'll it'll actually hold it hold it in the position. So if I want to do landscape like that, it'll lock in. It'll lock in and then I can I can film like that. Uh, it, just do it do it slowly for me. Yeah. So. It'll actually keep the phone. Oh wow! All the way around. Yeah, it shouldn't do, obviously go past the lens, but yeah, yeah like old gimbals. And it's got a little um, it's got a little tripod on it too. Yeah, mad. Yeah, all the tech. Hmm. Yeah. 
I'll have toys. Yeah. What's for dinner? What are you cooking for? That's for dinner. Gourmet hot dog sausages. That, that, that's gourmet. Bit of sauce, bit of bacon, bit of cheese, mm -hmm. bit, of, bit of long hot dogs. A shame being a muppet. No, that, it's my GoPro that's dying, not this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I'm the tech guy. He's the tech guy. Yeah. I recharge all the batteries. And he re he recharges he all the batteries. Yeah. Hey, you recharge you, my phone. You cook it for me. Go on, cook it for me. This is, this is what makes it gourmet. What okay? makes it gourmet? This is this is exactly what makes it gourmet. Ready? Gourmet. Ooh. Yep. Them some gourmet. Ooh, 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 yeah, ooh. And nice. now we're not throwing it. Otherwise, I will probably put it all over the ground. That smells nice. Yeah. You know what else smells nice? What? Gourmet. Mm -hmm. Camping. It's a full moon too. Arroo! Arroo! <laughs> Air mega. What do you reckon? Very good. Oh, look at that. Oh. Just finished some dinner, some gourmet sausages, hot dogs, um, and then we're gonna have a few drinks around the fire and uh, call it a night. So see you in the morning. Up pretty early out in the boat and we'll head up the passage. I have light stick. You want a double pod? Sure. Is it a double pod morning? Let's do a double podder. I'm definitely in need of a double pod morning after the night I had last night. In my new camelback. Yeah, so uh, Tim uh, got woken up in the middle of the night. Our gazebo filled up with rain and uh, collapsed right where this was all open. Um, and just drenched him, so he had to get up and uh, deal with that in the middle of the night. So that wasn't real fun, was it? The, the funny thing is, is I was out in the open out there, and I wanted all my swag windows open so I could get a cool breeze. I woke up in the middle of the night, went for a leak, and then thought, I feel like it's going to rain. So I moved my swag under the gazebo, thinking I was the, the smartest human being on the planet. And then it started raining, and I was like, yes. Confirmation you're the smartest human being on the planet. Well done, go sleep. And then about an hour and a half later, the whole gazebo collapsed. It popped down, the weight of the water I think popped it down, and then all of the fabric came inside the frame and, and basically made a funnel, like a water slide, directly into my swag. Straight in the back the top window. How do we sleep, kids? Dry as a bone? Well, Very good. I'll give you an indication of how they slept. Haley got up in the morning and I was telling her a story and she goes, was it raining last night? <laughs> What's going on? Don't how forget I'm here! Who, hey, what? Oh, I'm <laughs> Oh, jeez! What are you doing out there? I'm shooting uh, for the boat. Let's get this boat in the water, eh? Thank you. Let's get this boat in the water, hey! Make a song about getting the boat in the water, hey, yeah! Okay, that's, 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 Okay! Yeah. <laughs> Yee-ho, he just went down. Here we are, Cooking Creek. Launching the vessel. Ow.
going on, mate? Uh, just navigating these uh, channel markers. wee bit of exploration. Proper dunk. Huh? Just proper dunk. Proper dunk. Commitment though, straight in. Oh, you want to do this? Huh? Let's do this. Woo! Cement. Go. Yeah, we're freaking bribey. Ooh, oh yeah, brother! <laughs> yeah, brother! Yeah, buddy, how good was that? That was mint. Bit uh, oh, super tedious through the Coochin Creek in the passage. Yeah. Like, got down a half a meter of water. And, Took a bit of navigation, but it was worth it. I, uh, I was waving, you know, wavering a little bit in my commitment. Yeah. As soon as you get out of the passage out into the Clander waters and and then look at this. Yeah. Absolutely Absolutely mint. Mint. Yeah. Kids going out for the brains. <laughs> and and they've seen any four drive.
Pushing off. Lift off. Pushing off from Bobby. Push back. There we go. Here we go. Right down the passage. Not a bad little spot. Highly recommend it. From Bobby up through Pumstone Passage, uh, coming out the, at the Clounder Mouth. And then just stop on the inland side of uh, Bribey Island. Just on a little little beach spot, all the boats pull up there and hung out for a few hours. And we're just gonna try to catch back up the creek at high tide, because it's super, super shallow. And yeah, back to the campsite, have a bit of lunch. Um, start cranking the fire up so I can get the uh, pork roast down in the camp oven. Um, have a few beers, might have a bit of a yarn about what's going on next year and what we decided to do and all that sort of stuff. Plan some uh, more episodes, mate. Plan some more episodes, let you know what's in store. Good to finally get out again. Cloundro is bloody beautiful on the water. So many houseboats, eh? Hey? That'd be a mint weekend. That'd be a, that'd be a sick video. Oh, that's a good idea, eh? Right? Yeah. Houseboats. Yeah. At Moonshore or Cloundro. Yeah. For the weekend. Hopefully you can hear without that wind, but just saw up the tip of Ryby there where we were parked. There's a heap of um of rental boats. They just have little, I don't know, it must be under 15 horsepower or something engine and it says no license required. So for those of you who live on the coast don't have a boat, you can actually just drive to Cloundra, jump in a high boat and just scoot straight across the passage, um, the channel to, to the tip of Ryby there and do what we did for the day. Well, good morning out, eh? Yeah, looking forward to our cold cider and a and a uh, Camp oven pork roast, I know that. Right, so we just got back to the campsite. Uh, just pulled in. Tim's making some wraps. I'll lift one, lift one, drag one back. I'll lift one, drag one. The old bush turkey. He's got a sore foot. Oh mate, what have you done to your foot? Wait, what have you done? Scary. Let me feed him. I want to feed him. Yeah, so we've uh, we've go, got mate. some chicken wraps. Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks good. Oh, what's on there? Uh, fresh ham. Pastrami. Chicken pastrami. Very nice. Uh, salad and cheese. So we're gonna have a, a bit of lunch. Uh, Braxton's gonna get the fire going so we can get some hot coals uh, to start cooking uh, dinner a bit later on. So we'll uh, have a bit of a chill, have some lunch, and um, yeah, start get this fire going. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for a bit of a fish in the creek, Brax. What else are we gonna do? Ride your bike around for a bit, mm. have a bit of an explore, and uh, yeah, have a couple of beers and. And uh, campfire dinner, uh, pork roast in the camp oven tonight. So um, we'll get the get the fire ready and uh, whack it on a bit later on this afternoon. Um, would there be salmon in the creek? No salmon. Maybe some flathead. Mm. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, no. Mate, these wraps are gorgeous. Mm. I'm a rapper too, bro. <laughs> Gotta give a shout out to Christian from episode one. For this one, thanks, Christian. A little kick ass shower pump. Come back from being out in the surf. Got salt all over us, so we're just gonna hopefully it's charged. Uh, quickly rinse off. 
Just got a bucket of water in the shower there. All right, Hallie. Come in. Hold the shed. Cold. Check it. <laughs> How cool is that? It's cold. Yeah, well, you'll be right. <laughs> All right. Good night. Just little things that make life just that little bit better when you're out camping. So, thanks, Christian. Appreciate that one, mate. So the kids are just going for a ride in their bikes. We're just going to... Come and have a look at the day use area. Oh, there we go. Go for a look. Slow. Does it go on here? Huh? Go on. Nice little spot, hey Brax? Yeah. Probably one of my favourite campsites. Hey buddy. One of your favourites? Mm. Yeah? Which one's your favourite so far? Um, probably Big Regan. Yeah, Big, Big Regan. Regan? Big Regan, yeah. yeah. This is pretty good for close to home though, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Hi buddy. Where is he now? Up there. He's right there. You see his tail? Better area. Oh, Dad, I think this is where that um, guy was fishing before. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah, I'm going on an adventure with him in my bike. And yeah. Ooh, lots of people have nice campsites out here. I'm back at the campsite now and I have accomplished a ball. And you know what else I've accomplished? Grass that I just found before. So I see you when I get there. And I'm back at the spot. So it's a bit the grass is a bit taller, so what do you think? Should I stay here or should I go to that spot with a barbecue? I'm thinking barbecue, the barbecue area, because that's got really nice grass. All right, well, let's get the ball and stop playing. Let's see how the fire's doing. Ooh, I see a bit of it. Ooh. There's horses back there, did you know that? Horses? How's the shower, mate? It was awesome. Yeah. Well worth Little, it. Little, uh, I can't even remember what it's called now. Kick ass. Let me, ah, uh, kick ass. Kick ass shower. Kick ass electric shower pump. Um, little, little USB rechargeable one. I don't know, we said it before, but, um, yeah, we just had. Couple of buckets of water. Um, everyone's had showers now. So Wash all the sea salt off. It's made you feel it's better. You're all sunburnt, so you feel freshened up. Um, and while they've been having showers, I've just been getting some dinner ready. Um, so nice, quick, and easy one in the big camp oven. Just got rolled uh, roast pork. Um, I just just uh, made, made the incisions in it and soldered it. Um, and well, unfortunately, we don't have oil, so I'm 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 going to try to cook it on a little bit lower heat. So see if I don't burn the crackling. Um, yeah, so just better whack it on until that.
How much pork you want? Yeah, a bit more. More? Yeah. I'll do? <clears throat> yeah. And some crackling? Oh yes, give me some juicy crackling. I love crackling. I'm your only niece, for sure. Oh, bit oh of, yes. Bit of rope in there. Oh no, there's not. If I eat rope, don't worry. I'll eat it still. So Braxton's just gonna want meat, is he? Yeah. Oh, cutlery. It's actually nice Looks good. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you all. Have a nice Cheers. Okay, look at it. Cheers. So, 12 months ago, well, sorry, 11 months ago, 12 months ago, um, we started this <coughs> little adventure, uh, this YouTube channel, Dream and Adventure, uh, awkwardly sitting on a, on a beach, one of our favourite beaches, Tiawo Beach, with a camera on a tripod trying to figure out how to film a YouTube episode. Yeah. <laughs> so like, we thought it was only fitting that, that we ended you know, 12 months later in December, January to December, um, sitting in front of a camera on a tripod, you know, with, with a much more evolved sort of you know, environment and outlook on it and um, perception of it and I suppose a little bit more used to it. Um, it's been a great year. Well, this is, uh, yeah, this is the 10th trip that we've done this year. This is episode 10, so yep. um, we we had to cancel our last two uh, just purely because of weather, because there were trips that were booked. Um, we had to go on the boat to get to where we were going, and um, the weather was way too windy and way too dangerous, so unfortunately we had to can those, plus we've had some... Um, commitments with work and stuff but um yeah and we didn't we didn't really want like the whole the whole sort of principle behind doing this just gone looking is because we spent a couple of years there wanting to go everywhere and always wanted to get away and wanted, wanted to go to Fraser and wanted to go to you know all the places that we like we like to see um and never getting around to it never arranging it so um just gone looking was was set up to force us to go and see these things and go and get out and you know even if it's just for one night or two nights just just get out and experience all the, all the places that you know that we want to get to um, and we didn't really want to let work you know get get in the road of that and it was always about forcing us to go but we sort of threw out all of our eggs into the boat basket and that come unstuck and that tied in well because we were pretty busy at work but um, you know we, we set out committing to once a month try, trying to produce a video we've done pretty well I think it's gone a lot better than what we ever imagined it to be yeah overall think, we managed to um, get one trip a month um, uh, and um, we've seen some awesome places that we never knew existed. Like yeah. we're sitting at Coochin Creek at the moment in the campground. Well, I didn't even we we've lived half an hour, forty five minutes down the road from this growing up all of our lives. Didn't even know it was here. Well, I actually used to come in here motorbike riding, but I never knew this was here. I'm not sure if this how long this has been here, but yeah. it's a nice little spot, like half an hour from my house. And we're um, trying, we're tr and we're trying to name all the places that we've been to this year. Um, and, and we we got to you know to the point where TY Beach January, Bulumba Creek February, um, Habitat Noosa March, Fraser Island April, Land Cruiser Park May, Big Rigan Park uh, June, Gordon Country Gordon Country July, um, Somerset Dam August I think it was. Yeah, um, I think Somerset might have been before those two. Maybe before those two, and then Big Rigan Park and Land Cruiser Park, Big Rigan Park, Gordon Country. Yeah. Um, you check the episodes anyway if you want to have a look at them, and then Inskip Point with a couple of great mates, and um, and you know then we then we sort of got up here, you know had a couple of missed episodes, and then we got up here for, for, for the last one. We were actually really planning, would have loved to get up to um, to seventeen seventy to Agnes Waters because Christian's up there at the moment, and he, you know yeah, I hope everyone remembers Christian from the um, from the first episode of T Y Beach, just you know, as I said awkwardly sitting in front of a camera. Um, trying to film, trying to figure out how to film the first episode, and Christian, lovely family, just camping next to us, um, sort of got involved and made us, well, they, made us feel heaps better about it. They've act, they're actually in the intro, so yeah, in the intro to yeah. every episode, they're actually and and, and we'll leave them in there because you know because that's that's a big part of it. Like that sort of solidified to us that we, we were going to be okay. And actually, while we're on the subject, Christian actually is the one that um, 
told me about this place. So thanks again, mate. Um, yeah. You, you come up with a, a legend with a, with a gold one there, and, and it's only half an hour from and, the house. And so. we were really trying to get up to see you at, at 1770. That would have been great, sort of close off to the year. Um, you know, meet meet a great great bloke and, and and his family on the first trip made us feel a little bit more comfortable doing the film and um, randomly just following the same people we follow on YouTube and sort of made us feel a whole, whole lot more comfortable about the project and, and, and getting out. Um, it would have been great to catch up with you at the end of the year and do the first trip and the last trip with you. Uh, but, you know, life gets in the road and that's what this is about, adapting and making sure you still get out there um, and, and experience the, the outdoors. And, and, and as I said, like, we've seen a heap of places that we just didn't know exist this year and we're going to punch through to a heap of places next year. So that's uh, probably that brings us to our next thing. Uh, like, we're, we're going to commit to this again next year. It's going to be just going looking weekend series uh, year two. Yep, continued into, into next year. Um, one, one, one trip a month, hopefully. We, we hope we get a video up every month. Um, we've, we've already already got a few ideas, um, places that we haven't been before. Um, you know, kids will be around, they'll be coming as well. Um, and, hopefully, and hopefully a heap of other families and, and groups of people will meet along the way. Um, want to do Morton Island, uh, want to do North Stratty, South Stratty, um, Peel Island. There's a heap of places that we've sort of been exposed to or, or had a look at that we, you know, through, through, through travelling around and talking to people that we we want to get to so um yeah it's so been awesome started, we started the year with nothing um and yeah well, one go one gopro hero yeah. 7 and and a drone and 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 a, a random iphone couple, 8 or something a couple of eskies and Cu some ice couple, and... <laughs> couple of eskies some ice yeah and it couldn't have a fire for three months or something yeah, so we, we, were, we were stuck on cooking and now i'm not i'm no better at camp oven cooking than i was at the start but we're cooking we're cooking camp oven right, cookers on the fire, we're cooking spits on the fire. Now we've got you know, GoPro Hero 9s, we've got the drones, we've got, we've got brand, brand new iPhones doing all that cinematic stuff that iPhones do these yeah, days. We've got a good kitchen set up, we've got a shower, we've both got our swags, you know, rooftop tent set up, but we've got a nice little set up. Super, super now, comfy. So. You know, next year I'm going to have me... Got the canopy the, set up. Yeah, yeah. Next, next year I'm going to have me... Um, suspension done. I'm gonna have the, the dual battery system and all the all the fridge and the rear fit out done, which is gonna be awesome. Solar solar all on top of the car. Shane's got a heap of upgrades coming to his Navara, and that's what it's all about. Like starting with nothing um, and and just building from there. Slowly you get the things that you want to get. Like all the uh, you know we we should probably do a little episode just on on the things we've accumulated just to make life easier. Like. Yeah. You know, the, the, uh, Christian again put us onto the to the ensuite, the Australia ensuite. Shower. Yeah, the fast click up ensuite and the kick ass shower pump we we're using today. Yeah, that was actually the first time I used it today. Um, oh, it's amazing. After being in the in the salt water, yeah. and it was it was great. Yeah, so it's, it's amazing. I can't wait to use that on the beach. And, and the little mini espresso machine, and yeah. then just the you know the Wanderer cut resets, the this and that, the table anaconda table. Yeah. Just these just these little things that just make you make your trip away just so much more comfortable. Um, you know, we'll go through just for people that have got a, even just a normal sedan that just want to get out. Like you can fit all this stuff in your sedan. Don't need four drives or utes. You can go to half the places we've gone to without that sort of stuff. So I just want to really be a part of the community. We really want to encourage people to get out there and experience stuff because we've had a great time. We've hope, we, we hope you've had a great time watching us. We've got 144 subs. We've got 144 yeah, we've subscribers. We've done like, all right. Like one trip a month, you know, we, we're, we're not putting out a whole heap of content, but we're trying to be consistent. Yeah. Um, and we, we've started building a little community uh, on Instagram and YouTube and, and yeah, check Facebook out our socials, stuff, so. check out Insta. I, I don't even know what we got. Shane knows what we got, but yeah, we, I think we've even got a TikTok. We, we do have a TikTok. <laughs> I'm trying to navigate that. I've been trying to stay away from it, but at the end of the day, um, you know, it's a bit of fun. So we're trying yeah. to throw some uh, a bit of content up there as well. Yeah. So, um, but check, yeah. Yeah, check out all our socials. You know, get in, get involved in Instagram if you like what we do and if, if you have a bit of fun with us. Um, and you like the episodes, you know, subscribe, like, hit, hit, hit some comments up. Like, we just want to be a part of the community. Um, we just want to, you know, if people want to get out there and do the things that we're doing, um, we want to be a part of their, their time as well. We subscribe to hit people on YouTube, um, both on our personal accounts and on Just Gone Looking. Um, we'll always subscribe to you if you reach out to us and say, look, we're, we're, we're you know, we're getting amongst it. We've been inspired by some other people and we're, we're getting amongst it. Just just drop us a comment and we'll, we'll, we'll subscribe to you because we just really want to be a part of the community and build it. It's, um, yeah, it's just good to have your toes in sand, your, you know, your feet in, in grass, and um, you know, and just hearing birds chirp and, and and seeing sunrises and sunsets. And yeah, it's um, yeah, it's been a really good ride. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, look, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get through uh, weekend the series again next year. And yeah, and then hopefully, you know, a little bit later on, we're, we're in the position where maybe we can get the caravans and and, and you know, start doing this 
a little bit more. Yeah, part, yeah. part time or full time. Or? We're just trying to build it organically. You know, we've met a lot of really nice people. Um, everyone that's um, doing this stuff on social and stuff is in the same position we are, and you know, just just um, enjoy the same things and have have a lot of things in common. So we're just really enjoying uh, getting out and building it organically, and yeah, hopefully next year we can we can improve on that and yeah. you know continue just to just to. You know, meet more people in in the in the camping and you know outdoor sort of lifestyle. One trip a month, like uh, weekend, like there was a couple of episodes uh, this year that we we were only able to get away for one night. Um, we still got out and did it. Just um, push, just get yourself out the door. And and um, no matter how you know flat out stressed out we were feeling, as soon as we we got out there, set up camp. Um, we really just thanked ourselves that we actually got out and did it and committed to it. So yeah, there was a, there was a few times where well, me especially, um, you know, it was it felt a bit forced and I wasn't really in the mood and all that sort of stuff. And then and it always always went once we get out there and get the campsite set up and you start getting involved in it, you start chirping up and sparking up, you know, and and, and start enjoying it. We tend to bounce off each other. It's always good to do this with yeah. a partner that you know, you know, that that that, that she sort of feed off. Um, so having my brother, you know, beside me to sort of bounce off has is, is, is been, I couldn't have done this by myself and I don't Yeah, I think it's good, myself. like, it, you know, one of us is not, not feeling it, we sort of bounce off each other and make sure that we, you know. Yeah, spark each other up. Cheer each other up to, um, to get out and, and get the trips done and, and we always um, appreciate it once we're out here and, and doing it. So, yeah, looking forward to, um, you know. Booking more trips for we've got a few yeah, locked got in. Yeah, a few and, locked uh, in already uh, for the first sort of three months. We got locked ideas, in. A couple of special ones coming yeah. up. So yeah, it's going to yeah. be some good ones. Uh, 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 as, as you've probably seen, Shane bought a boat. You know, we st 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 we still got the ski. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of you know, uh, you know hopefully you know we're not hopeless at catching fish, but we want to try to do some some of those things. You know, so those catch and cook sort of videos and and learn with the content, yeah. like us learn how to do things while we're driving content um, and. Get out in the ski in the boat and, and just go to go to some old islands and just and kick the swags out and camp and just just really experience just just life outside of you know the normal routine yeah um and and put out put ourselves outside the comfort zone um because because i don't know i'm not i'm not awesome with watercraft you know what i mean but yeah. well, i'd love to go to an island and, and camp overnight and just kick out the swags on the beach and have a little fire and and cook up what we catch and yeah, learn as we go. March fly, <laughs> March, March fly. Yeah, but yeah. We're we're just going to continue to try and show people what you can do on a weekend in South East yeah. Queensland, like get, to get away and places. And, that, and, that, and that's a bit, yeah, to. that's the biggest thing we're pushing the weekend series into next year is we found that there's so many places you can explore just on, you know, just within our range that we can go. Um, we want to get up to Bundy and Byron Point and all that sort of stuff. See the Bundy Rum Factory, and that, you know, that's a that's a three or four day trip over the weekend as well. So, just really want to. Really want to encourage people that, to do these to do these weekender series trips, you know, and um, and maybe visit some places we've gone or for you guys overseas, you know, just just have a have a research around, see where you can get within three or four hours, and just get out there on the weekend and see what's about. Keep, anyway, keep finding new spots. Keep finding new spots. Crack show on next year. Show us where you've been. If, if you don't have a YouTube channel and you're overseas or you you're doing what you do, just drop drop us, you know, some stuff on our socials and give us a look at where you're going, and we're always keen to see it. We'll. We'll subscribe, we'll follow, we'll, um, we'll do all those fancy things to do on social media to, to support you as well because we really appreciate the support that you, that you yeah, give us. Yeah, so thanks to everyone who's um, subscribed to our channel or, or added, us on, added us on our socials this year. Uh, we really appreciate it. We've met, met a lot of nice people and uh, we've, we've found a lot of good spots and, and you know we're really looking forward to doing it next year again. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Hey, kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Just go, oh. just go looking. Just go on looking, yeah. Just go <laughs> looking. Every all of you just go looking, um, and we're we're gonna keep go, you know keep going looking. Yeah, it's been fun. The first year, it's been awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep it going, and uh, yeah, keep charging on out there, looking around. Looking, <laughs> just looking around. Just we're just gone boating, yeah. just gone fishing, just gone looking. It's yeah. all gonna happen next year. So yeah. Cheers, mate. Thanks. It's been yeah. an awesome ride this year. Can't awesome wait year. to next year's stuff. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, lookers. Um, appreciate all your support and. Uh, yeah, we'll see ya. We'll see ya next year for the weekend of series edition two. Jump in, kids. Come on. There we go. Thanks, everyone. So, lookers, thanks for joining us. Episode ten, um, Cooch and Creek Campgrounds, and then up the up the uh, Palmerstone Passage. Palmerstone Passage. Palmer, yeah. Into the Cloundra. 
Um, it's a tip of bribey, so what a, what a beautiful day. Awesome day, yeah. Had a bit of a shocker night on the first night with some rain, but um, come good with a, with a great day up uh, up at Clounder in the boat. So um, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, we haven't, we haven't had a video in a, in a couple of months, so we're going to try to commit to, to going back to one video a month. So I hope to see some good content. We've got some great videos to come. Uh, all, the, all the islands up and down the Queensland coast, Morton, Stratty, North Stratty, South Stratty. Um, yeah, yeah, a couple it's... of good ones coming up, guys. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit a like, subscribe. Stay up to date with all the newest episodes. Thank eh, you. <laughs> Drop in some comments if you want us to check out any places you think we've missed. Uh, we've never been to Coochin Creek, and it's only a little bit up the road from where we grew up. So there's heaps of places around. If you see any, send us a uh, send us a comment, and we'll go check it out. Yeah. Awesome.